It's day five of hurricane restoration and I'm here with Doug Numbers and Stan Baum. We're in the Lutherville area in Baltimore. Uh, first of all, gentlemen, there's some work going on behind you. Tell, tell us how, tell me how you feel about that. Well, I'm glad about that. I mean, glad that the work's being done finally. I mean, it's been a long five days without power, or at least a little bit of power um, with a generator and all, but we're, we're doing all right. We're hanging in. I heard a number of trees have uh, fallen around here. There's a lot of damage. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened, Stan? Sure. We have a short block, and I think five trees went down just in our short little block. And I know I was up at approximately 2.30 uh, a.m. Uh, Sunday morning, and I was trying to check the weather channel when right here behind Doug's house, there was a huge flash of white light as if what you would see during the fireworks, followed a fraction of a second later by a, a, an explosion. So it was the white and then boom, and I looked over from across the street and I saw the explosion right up here and power went down immediately. And that was in the middle of you know, the gusting wind. About 10 minutes later, 20 minutes later, I heard my tree fall behind my house and just glad that it fell away from the house. And it was also uh, like a large oak, like one of these trees behind us. So um, they say that the damage from this storm is maybe even more extensive than Isabel because of the winds and the fact that the ground was saturated. We've had almost as many outages, believe it or not. Um, that's part of the reason why it's taken several days to get people in here. So a crew, there are two crews working here this evening. One is from Oklahoma and the other is from Ohio, ComEd. Um, have you talked to the guys and, yeah, and, 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 and very nice and very helpful and they seem like they're working really hard. Have you had any interaction with them? Uh, these guys, not that much, but I did have interaction with some bg &E guys that came through yesterday and several nights before checking out the situation and everyone was very nice it seemed like they did go out of their, their way to spend a little bit of extra time and explain the situation and i don't know how many times they must have repeated themselves to every neighbor but they seemed very conscious of of being kind and informative about it all so that was nice that's good i know that um you're probably extremely grateful and excited to finally have power again. When I first <laughs> when I first met you, Doug, you said something about, you know, it kind of goes with the territory a little bit. Do you remember what you said? Well, I mean, basically, we had a hurricane all up and down the East Coast. And, and I understood, you know, we were going to be without power for probably a couple days when things happen like that. Um, because it, it didn't just hit here. It hit everywhere. And that's why there's crews here from Oklahoma and Ohio, not just BG&E guys, because it's overwhelming. I mean, you know, I'm sure there were crews in Virginia and New York and New Jersey and everywhere else calling people in from all over to address the situation. Well, gentlemen, we really appreciate your patience and um, thank you very much for talking to us. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, we'll, we'll keep you posted on restoration efforts and future issues of this program.